Hello guys, welcome to today's tutorial of technical question answer for CDM interview series. This is a part two. Okay, and the areas what we'll cover are like question that comes from the area like all the utility commands we'll be discussing. Okay, along with the coding. Okay, and how to handle the complex scenarios with them. Okay, along with that, what are the strategies we use to handle dynamic XPath or interact with you know dynamic located okay and other things other areas is like some key differences or key code concept that we use um, that is being asked very frequently in the interview interview questions so let's quickly start it so first question is how to navigate to the url two ways driver dot get send the url other one driver dot navigate dot to and inside that url what is the difference between these two get is used for navigating to a url but navigate stores history of navigation that is you can direct either go back or can go forward using this driver dot navigate dot back and forward you can also do but you cannot do it for get okay how to maximize window this is the command driver dot maximize that window dot maximize Setting the size of the window, how to how if you like to if you want to set the size of a window or dimension, how can you do that? Okay, uh, dimension you have to get an instance of dimension and pass the width and height, and then pass the dimension object into the set size. Driver dot manage that window dot set size inside that dimension. Okay, how you can get the position of a window? You can use the get position method like what I had used that. So how to get the current url driver dot get current url get the page how to get the title of page driver dot get title okay getting the value of an attribute of an web element driver dot find dot by element the web element dot get attribute okay inside the value how to get the tag name inside of a of a web element just use the method get tag name how to get the text of element use get text okay how to maximize the browser driver dot manage that window dot maximize okay how to close the browser driver dot close or driver dot quit anything you can use okay what is the difference between driver dot close or and driver dot quit close basically closes the current window which has the current focus okay Suppose let's say you have five windows open, but your current focus is on window number second, it will close only the second window. Quit will entirely call a method called dispose, and this will clear off your session safely and will close all the window that was interacting with automation. Weights in Selenium, there are different types of weights that we use one is implicit weight that command is driver dot manage dot timer dot implicitly weight you need to mention the time and the what is the you no know, entity like second millisecond like this we use second set so time unit dot second explicit weight means you are specifically waiting for some element and along with some condition to be true then you perform the next set of actions then you are doing the element okay the element you are taking then you are using web driver it you're creating an object for web driver it okay passing the driver and the time okay and then you are waiting until some expected or until some condition happens okay like visibility of element until the element is clickable until the element is available and switch to it so frame is available so that's the syntax for this explicit weight and what is fluent weight this is kind of advanced type of weight that we use okay handling very very complex scenario like ajax call and all this type of call where suppose let's say you have an element this element is offering so interview if interview ask you where we can use fluent weights or how can you handle ajax right suppose the element is just mention this kind of scenario okay in your project explaining that suppose mention that you have an element that element sometime it is appearing on the page in 
one second sometimes two seconds sometimes ten seconds sometimes fraction of second so how can you track that that time that time you need to use went with basically you are waiting for a threshold time here it is 30 and you are polling every after every interval of seconds you can minimize or maximize this polling every and you are ignoring no such element exception because if the element is not found then your driver throws some exception right basically you are ignoring that so this way you can achieve that okay now difference between implicit weight explicit weight and front weight implicit weight means you are telling the driver to wait for a certain amount of time okay by pulling the dom before it throws a no such element exception okay what is that if the driver don't find the element it will throw this exception right no such element exception but you are asking the driver to wait for some time specified amount of time explicit weight meant you are asking it to wait until some time and until some condition to be true for certain element fluent weight means what i mentioned earlier as well to handle complex type of weights or like to handle complex type of scenarios like other call and the mechanism so where element is appearing sporadically so that time you can use that fluent weight difference between assert and verify assert if assert if you are using assert in your test method if that test failed or the assertion gets failed the validation gets failed then the execution of the test will be immediately stopped skipping all the rest of the steps of that test but in case of verify even if your verification gets failed it will continue execution and Love the failure last. What is the difference between double slash and single slash? Double slash means it's a relative path. Let's say in the DOM, right? In X path, you have the HTML tag, then another term div, then again another div. Suppose you were starting from somewhere in the middle, you need to use double slash. If you are using from the very beginning or absolute path, just use single slash. Okay. Now this is very important. Expert finding mechanism. There are different type of expert finding mechanism that are present. So what I had covered is like the advance for this section. Basic is like you just use at the red. You no, know, at the red you just put the at the red and then give some tag name, then you know, key value attribute mention that, use some text, use some contents. So those are the basic. Here's the advanced like type of x path what are, what type of how many ways you can find x path one is absolute path from the root you are finding one is relative path from the relative path double slash what i mentioned just now one is by following parent child mechanism means suppose you find suppose you need to reach to a node or like element x but that element uh, look and nothing you are finding nothing you are able to find nothing is present in the dom so you go to its child okay now after reaching to child just traverse back one step okay from child to parent same same way you trying to find a child but you didn't get anything you are going to parent and from there you navigate into child so this i had referred to google.com you can go ahead and search with that okay for practicing papers so this is i had taken input so basically here i am going to parent and from parent i have to give double this quotation not quotation colon actually double colon and star that means all child okay and second i am going to child and from there i am going to the parent okay third one move child to parent with double dot suppose you are in child you are trying to move it to its parent just use double dot after the child like what i have mentioned sibling mechanism is another way of finding x path okay like you have five elements inside one element okay then five elements are themselves are siblings right called siblings so basically you are able to find one element x path but nothing is there for other one so by one sibling you can go through other sibling as well 
okay like following siblings okay preceding before sibling after sibling so that way you can find it as well okay dynamics path so dynamics path is like uh, you can use contains you can use tags you can use starts with so I have given some example this interview ask you how many types of oh, how many ways you can find uh, you can form the expert or what are the different approach you follow mechanism for you can mention this okay okay click on element simply normal click driver dot find element dot click method you can use or you can you can use javascript click using javascript executor okay so this is the command web element element so you get the element then javascript executor executor hmm. javascript driver executor does execute key this will be remaining all the time same only your this element will be changed okay that's all how to send the text into a text box normal send keys method you can use or you can even use javascript as well okay same javascript executor you are using and here you are using document dot get element by id means the id of the element and setting the attribute value equal to what data you need to enter suppose you need to enter xyz so here it in place of data to enter you need to mention xyz okay. how to use scrolling or how to perform scrolling <coughs> this is a we do it using javascript executor again multiple ways one is you get the element okay and use the javascript executor like what i have mentioned the command and scroll up to the element until that is view okay as i mentioned scroll into view content element is view visible or is coming into that portion to be scrolling or you can mention the dimension as well 0 to 300 i had mentioned it when you will scroll back there so is element present okay there is no right support for is element present in web driver so here we can ask you what how can you implement is element present so this is the implementation basically you are putting a try catch block that is the most important part here to mention driver dot find element because if your element is not found it will immediately throw an exception okay so it so this being using try catch for this scenario is very important because once the element is not present it will throw an exception will catch that and return this boolean value equal to false so that you can verify okay this element is not present okay how to handle window this is the code for handling window basically you are getting some window and after that okay after basically clicking on some some link that is opening some window okay and after that you are switching to the window okay and basically performing some operation and basically you are iterating your window handles multiple window it is open you are switching to the window performing some operation like driver does switch to the window and window handle and you are basically closing the window once the operation of the particular window is done and you are switching back to the parent window this way you can work with multiple window how to work with alerts so we are creating an object of alerts okay driver dot switch dot alert to accept alert the command is alert dot accept to dismiss it it is alert dot dismiss to get in text of alert alert dot get text to send any data to an alert box send data send keys basically right how to work with like frame switch to frame is driver dot switch to that frame number or the frame element you also can mention the second way okay and switching back to default content let's say there is a frame you need to switch into that you have to perform some operation and switch back to the main content right so the command is first come for switching back to main content is driver dot switch to the default content okay how to work with tabs okay basically to work with window you don't use list but to work with tabs you have to use list okay driver dot final element that is performing this click which is the reason for opening multiple tabs okay once the tabs are open you're getting the window handle and to i'm putting it into the array list okay tabs and you're basically iterating not iterating you can also iterate as well be here i'm just switching to number of tabs tabs of get i perform some operation close the tab 
and switch to the tab 0 that's what it. I have taken two tabs you can even take multiple tabs as well okay you can rotate over the tabs get the specific tab perform some operation close it switch back to the previous tab that's how we can work with that how to do hovering mouse hovering like navigating mouse and all right is the command you need to use action class for this action dot move to element dot build dot perform it will move your mouse okay how to handle cookies is also a very important question that comes in the interview actually basically there you are taking a set okay set means uh, um, uh, correction case java set i'm talking about set of cookie you are taking and getting all the cookies and after that you are iterating over it using an iterator okay cookies are iterated okay then you are using a while loop and basically you are iterating over the cookies and here i have for an example printed domain c dot like cookie dot domain name get name value expired so these things you can directly fetch it okay how to take a screenshot this is file you are taking a creating a reference for file and you take text screenshot type dot get screenshot as output type dot file means the file the screenshot you are taking has to be saved with the file and here you are copying the file or whatever for using file it is the copy file to the newly where the path newly added path where the file should get saved so that's all how to handle certification certificates and error in firefox use firefox profile and use two there are multiple ways basically i had shown one simple way uh, you can set you can basically use the method called set accept untrusted certificates to set assume untrusted certificate issue or false okay how to perform drag and drop just again use action class action dot drag and drop dot source comma destination build dot perform source and destination to define the problem you need to perform right how to take there are multiple interview can ask you how while executing script right you need to get some input from the keyboard your computer keyboard he is referring to how can you do that mention multiple ways one way is to key, use keys class another way is, is to use robot class so here i have shown keys class right so i am taking the input keys dot tab keys dot escape keys is a part of set keys class means from selenium i'm talking about okay how to perform double click so action class you have to use and you have to use method called double click okay how to use right click you have to use again action class action dot context click that is responsible for performing right click okay and next you can use like send keys okay and again you have to you can use keys class to perform keyboard action like array down array up enter tab escape anything you can do you want to do you can do with keys class like this right how to check whether element is selected or not the method is selected how to enable how to check it is enabled or not element is enabled or not okay it is it is enabled how to check if it is displayed or not it is, it is displayed okay how to work with radio buttons okay just get the radio buttons in, in a list of both element okay by taking drag and drop find elements and if that is not that is selected select the other one basically it is dot get i is selected if first one is selected select the second one okay how to work with drop down there are different thing that you can do either you can Know, perform selection from the drop down or you can perform deselection okay you can to perform in every case you have to use select and there are multiple methods that you can use any of them if you wish you can use select by index look by value select by visible text okay and on the other hand deselection you have to use deselect all you can use deselect by index or visible text like this okay on the other hand if you want to know all the option that are available in a select tab okay you can use the selection dot get option okay and store it in the list of variable you can iterate over them and you can get pretty much every information for each and every element in the select okay so how to work with 
I love that there are multiple ways you can do that. One is sent keys, other one is robot class, the third is keys class, fourth is third party tool like auto IT or like this. So send keys means just use send keys and hit the path of the file providing the path of the available file. Okay, and auto IT you can use three method win wait active name of the pop-up window which is coming up okay popping up to you okay then send the path of the document and send the enter in the curly braces how to run the command for authority use this command win a script runtime dot get runtime execution run authority file exe file okay so guys that's all from this section of video the next section will be discussing much about you know the real time other set of real time question and answer which will involve same in grid okay a remote execution and some complex scenarios okay if you do like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel if you do have any question comment suggestions please put them in the comment box i'll be happy to help thank you and have a nice day